way back when I first started this YouTube channel, I was doing a phenomenal job of picking titles that were very, how would you say, clickbaity. And like I said, I was doing a good job at it. And for the most part, some of them videos did very well in terms of, or at least in context of it being a very new channel. I was getting, you know, 30, 40 views on some of those videos. And that was like, woohoo, I'm getting 30, 40 views. And now I'm getting like a thousand views on videos. And I don't know what to do with all those views. It's fantastic. Uh, thanks everybody for watching and all that kind of stuff. But back then, I was phenomenally happy when a video got 30 or 40 views because the vast majority of the videos, especially like the podcast and stuff like that, got five or six views. So, you know, I, I was doing everything I could in terms of manipulating YouTube in order to get some views. And that's just what YouTubers do. One of the videos I did really, really pissed a lot of people off, and it continues to piss people off to this day. I still get a lot of views on this video, and a lot of comments that are just very, very angry because of the title of this video. And the video is this one. Linux Mint is a useless distro. I argued that and in about 15 minutes. It was a 15 minute long video, and you can tell how long it is based by how old the graphics are, which I haven't used these graphics in a long time. This came out in December of 20, December 16th, 2020. So this is one of my very first videos. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like the 10th video I ever did. And this thing has gotten 2,200 views. Now, the vast majority of those came after DistroTube did, did a shout out. But before that, I still had like six or 700 views like in like early early February or so. So within a you know a couple months, this thing did like five or 600 views. And that was just huge mungus for this channel at that time. And like I said, this video still gets a ton of views. Now look at this like-dislike ratio. This is by far my most disliked view, uh, a video. 32 likes, 83 dislikes. It's just... Even the one that I did most recently, the one where I said I was switching to Microsoft Edge, which, by the way, this is still Microsoft Edge. Uh, even that one got over 100 likes and only like 30 or 40 dislikes. I mean, it was the, the ratio was much more in the positive realm of positivity or whatever. You know, this one here pissed a lot of people off. Even people who don't like Mint didn't like this video. And I don't think that anybody actually watched the video. The... Average watch time is only like 30 or 40 seconds on this thing. So they didn't actually get to the main conclusion of the video, which I'll talk about here in a minute. Minute. So they just see the title and stop watching. Now, you have to be wondering, for those of you who are actually still watching, because I'm sure I'm going to title this video something just as inflammatory as I titled the other video, <laughs> but uh, you have to be wondering, what's the purpose of you making a new video about Linux Mint? And despite the fact that I've now spent five minutes talking about a video about Linux Mint, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about Linux Mint because December 2020 was a, quite a long time ago. We're coming up on a year, and I'm a much more observant, objective, Linux user than I was at that point. I was very opinionated then. I was very much a Arch user. Uh, I'm much less entrenched in the cult of Arch users than I was at that point. So the question I have and what I want to answer today, which is finally getting to the topic of the video, do I still think Linux Mint is a, US, a useless distro? And the answer to that is I kind of do. So, my despite me being a more objective Linux user than I was before, I still think that I have many problems with the way the developers for Linux Mint do their business. And it takes a certain amount of arrogance, I will admit, to proclaim that the Linux Mint dev, dev team are doing a bad job when I put no effort into improving Linux Mint. I understand the irony and the hip hypocrisy and arrogance, all that kind of stuff. Frankly, Linux Mint can do whatever the hell they want to do. I don't care. I'm not going to use it. Uh, I'm not going to point anybody towards using it. And my main reason why is because I have a, uh, I have opinions on the way Linux Mint does their th stuff. And mostly I think it's that they spend time constantly reinventing themselves. 
and constantly reinventing things that they don't need to reinvent things like things like a file renaming tool, things like an IPTV application, which is just a weird thing to spend time on, uh, unless it's just a hobby. But it didn't feel like a hobby. It felt like a, I mean, they touted it in our release notes a couple times, uh, you know, a year ago or something, and as if it was a high-end feature of their application. It's just really weird, right? And not that it's not cool. It is cool. But it's still really weird. It's when you have other problems that you can solve within your own distro, spending time on that doesn't seem like a, a, a great use of time. And I think my feelings on Linux Mint would be a little bit less inflammatory if they didn't just feel like Ubuntu. You know, if they feel like an Ubuntu release that has only existed because they don't like Ubuntu and. Th th I mean, that's an okay reason to exist. It just feels... I don't know. A lot of their stuff feels petty to me. They don't really feel like they have good reasons for the reasons why they don't like Ubuntu. And they also have this side project called LMD. So that's Linux Mint Debian Edition. And it feels like a guy is dating, uh, you know, a pretty girl, but has a mistress on the side. You know? You know, they've committed to Ubuntu, but... Not so much that they don't have this side gig over on the, you know, on the side to focus on it whenever they feel like it. You know, whenever Ubuntu's boring or has pissed them off, they go do some work on LMDE. And I think that split focus is what kind of just turns me off a little bit. It just makes me feel a little weird about the whole project because... I asked myself, why does Linux Mint exist? And a lot of people use Linux Mint, and for good reason. It's not a terrible distro. But the real reason I think people use Linux Mint is because Cinnamon exists. The Cinnamon desktop is fantastic. It's really good. It's developed by the, the Mint team. And if you're coming from Windows, there's not a single desktop environment I can think of. Maybe Zorin, but they're shady as fuck, I think. There's not, there's very few, let's put it that way, very few Linux de Linux desktop environments that you can go to from Windows and feel like you're kind of still in Windows, and Cinnamon is one of those. And you can go to older desktop environments that kind of look like Windows, but they're just that, they're older, and they feel older. XFCE has some traits that Windows has, but it's older. You know, Mate, you can tell, is older. You know, it, it it's based on an old paradigm. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, again, but you can tell it. Cinnamon feels like a very modern desktop that is based on the Linux, or this is based on the Windows way of doing things. So, I, I, I kind of meandered off the topic, but... The thing is about Linux Mint is that they have these two di diverging paths, and it feels as long as they're focused on both of them and kind of have this backup as, a, as an LMDE that they have, that their focus is always going to be split. There's a reason why they always feel a little bit behind Ubuntu, because they're not focusing entirely on Ubuntu. And there, it always feels like LMDE is, is kind of abandoned every once in a while because it, you know, it, yeah, it gets releases, but it doesn't feel like it's their focus. It feels like a side hustle, and that's exactly what it is. That's my entire problem with Linux Mint is that their focus doesn't feel like uh, it's in the right place, and I don't, I can't even dictate which is the right place. I mean, just choose one. You know, if you're going to base, be based on Ubuntu, but pull all the stuff that makes Ubuntu Ubuntu out of it, uh, snaps, basically. Uh, I mean, that's what Ubuntu has become. Is Ubuntu has become a, a front end for the snap ecosystem. That's what Ubuntu has become. And the Linux Mint guys don't like that, so they still base themselves on Ubuntu, but they t rip out snaps. So they're kind of like Ubuntu before snaps became a thing, I mean, which is, you know... Whatever, I mean, if that's the way you want to focus, focus on that. Don't have the side hustle. Or, if you really don't like the way Ubuntu does things, and you like Debian, go focus on the Debian stuff. One, one or the other. Why focus on both? Especially when you're such a small team, and you're, you're, the developers are constantly complaining about not having enough time to develop on things. I mean, they're always making blog posts and stuff like that about how 
they they don't want to they they don't have enough time to focus on the things that matter, but they're always focusing on these the the two diverging paths. It's very very weird, and uh, <laughs> this video has just become one giant rant against Linux Mint. And I didn't want to be the, the the negative guy because this video is going to have just as many down votes as that video had back in December, probably. Um, even though I feel like I'm a little bit more popular of a YouTuber, but uh, I, I I don't want to be the guy who says, well, Linux Mint is, sucks because Linux Mint doesn't suck. It's a good distro. It's just I have philosophical oppositions. Oppositions? Not the right the word. Philosophical... Differences, that's the word I was looking for. I have philosophical differences with the way the Mint team does their work. It just feels fractured to me, and Linux is fractured enough. You don't really need, as a team, they really need to laser focus on one way or the other. That's my opinion, and that's what this whole thing is. is It's, it's an opinion, right? I don't have an, a vendetta against Linux Mint. I want them to succeed. Uh, Thinking that I have some kind of uh, some of the comments in that video are like, why do you hate Linux Mint? Why do you want them to fail? Like, I don't want them to fail. I want them to be successful because they're a very popular distro, and I want them to focus on the things that will make them even more po you know, f more popular. Uh, I think it's a fantastic idea to have an Ubuntu distro that is more popular than Ubuntu itself because I don't like GNOME. I despise GNOME way more than I despise Linux Mint, and because I, I don't despise Linux Mint at all. Uh, but I do despise GNOME, and Ubuntu uses GNOME. So, you know, if I had to be forced to use Ubuntu, I'd have to use one of their, you know, flavors. And that's why I think that a Linux distro that's based on Ubuntu that is separate from what Ubuntu does is a good idea. I also think that uh, a Linux distro based on Ubuntu that does a really good job of a desktop environment because I'm using Debian right now and they don't do a good job with desktop environments at all. They give you a lot of choice. You can install your own, but they're all very default. They don't do anything for customization. You have to do all that stuff yourself, which, you know, fine and dandy, but it's that not new user friendly. So if a Linux distro based on Debian that has a beautiful desktop environment, sign me up, but choose one. I mean... Choose one. <laughs> choose one. I mean, that, that's 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 what I want them to do is to choose one. So, that is it for this video. I've gone on for 15 minutes. I mean, it's almost by the time I'm done with this video, it'll almost be precisely the exact length of the video I did back in December. It's going to be hilarious. I wonder if I can actually get them to be the ex exact exact length. That'd be hilarious, but I doubt it. But anyways, thank you for watching. Before I go. If you want to get in contact with me, you can do so at LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2 is fun too. Marcus, Maglin, Sven, Jackson, Nice and Tool, Mitchell, Mr. Fox, Art Center, American Camp. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.